Hello, this is Jim Gibbons with Cliff Jones RV and Tractor in Sealy, Texas. This video is on the 26 DBH. This is for Shasta Martin. Shasta, we'll just start on the outside here and go over just a few things. Uh, this particular unit, we start off, has an electric uh, jack on it. It does have a manual ride, override. <clears throat> So it makes it really easy to load and unload, get off, on and off the bumper of the truck. In the event that you had a dead battery or it was in a bind, we do have take this cap off right here and there's a manual crank. Inside behind it in the black box there is two 20 pound propane tanks. Um, that's what's going to feed uh, you know, your stove and heater and stuff. The, right here is spot for two batteries had you need batteries, uh, or a second battery rather. The uh, unit is pre-wired for solar charge, okay, so if you were to get like a 100 amp solar panel, you would just plug it in, something like that. You can see that sticker right there, and that will keep your battery charged. This is storage. The storage goes all the way through all the way through from side to side, plenty of storage. It comes with a an electric canopy that has, I believe it has LED lights that light up. Um, this vent here that you're looking at is an exhaust vent for the stove, which is something you don't see in a lot of RVs. Uh, this actually gets you know the smoke and smells out of the cabin there, cabin area. This unit's also pre-wired, it's got marine speakers and a television mount, which at, these, at this point right here, there is electric, and then there's your cable TV satellite hookup for the television. This is a vent for your heaters, uh, vent for your refrigerators. And this feature right here is what's known as a black tank flush. So when you take, when you dump the dirty water, and you used to, folks had to go inside and use a brush to clean out the toilet and wash, backwash it. That no longer, we no longer have to do that. Uh, you just hook a water hose right here, and it back flushes that tank. A lot more sanitary there. This particular unit does have two access doors. This is a great feature here. The access door here is there's an access to the restroom from uh, the inside and also the outside. So that keeps the kids and everybody from tracking in and out of the house to use the restroom. Uh, when we get inside, I'll go over the details of the restroom there. So if you move into the very back of the unit, what we have is a 300 pound capacity rack that lays down. So that's really good for ice chests, you know, you put the kids' bikes on there, just uh, things you don't want to put in the RV. So, let me move around here. Okay, this is the back side of it. This is, this door here is just the other side of the, uh, this is storage underneath the bed area. As you can see, quite a bit there for lawn chairs, all kind of good stuff you can put in there. It does have an outdoor shower with hot and cold water, okay? This area right here, <clears throat> this is where you hook your 30 amp service to. It has a fresh water tank, you connect, uh, you just stick the water hose in, in there and uh, you can fill up your fresh water tank. It does have city water connection, so you, if you're at a you know, an RV park that has, you know, a well or whatever, you can hook it up there and not use your tank and have continuous water feed. Uh, moving along, this unit does have one slide. This is a um, <clears throat> connection for cable TV. Some of the RV places have cable television they offer, and you can also see the slide that's out. Right here is what's known as your water heater. It's a propane water heater. It's got a six gallon tank reservoir. The average shower uses about three gallons per shower and even if you were to run out of hot water uh, with propane on only six gallons it's going to heat up really really quick. 
and uh, should be sufficient for several adults. All right, so we're gonna move into the interior and what we're looking at here to begin with is the upgraded steps. That's a big issue with RVs. You want good, solid steps. And this is the upgraded version. I'll just pan around in the inside of it for a moment and we'll just go over some of the details. All right, we can start right here with the entertainment center. There is a television mount right there uh, that goes above the entertainment center and you can see the connections for the cable and satellite. The unit does come with a FM AM radio DVD player. This unit is wired um, for speakers inside and outside so you can run it individually or you can have music uh, playing simultaneously inside the vehicle and outside of it. Uh, below that is some storage. This is for your DVDs, that sort of thing. Quite a bit of storage. You have a electric fireplace. Really, really nice ambience uh, at night with the lights out. Really, really nice, especially watching television. Moving over here, there's cabinets above the kitchen sink, as you can see. Good size storage. Um, the sink has a stainless steel faucet on it. Now that's residential grade stuff. You know, it's got a stainless steel uh, sink as well. And if you'll notice the edge on the countertop, it doesn't have a lip. The sink is, is sunken down in below the countertop. So what that means is that it's much, much easier um, to keep clean. If you've ever dealt with a sink that has a little edge on it, you'll know that trash always seems to back up right on that edge. You won't have a problem with this one. Okay, moving here over the stove, we have a Greystone 1000 watt microwave. It is residential quality. It's got a popcorn button. So the vent that I showed you earlier on the outside of the unit is this is vent to the stove hood. All right, looking at the stove, it's a three burner propane stove. Um, again, this, the first burner here is residential grade. That's 10,000 BTU. The two back ones are 7,500. Now the reason they have three burners what that means is that you don't have to buy RV pots and pans, spend extra money. You can use any pots and pans that, that you so desire and that you already have. It comes with an oven, okay? There's storage to the left of that, additional storage. It would be a good place to put, uh, you know, a garbage can. The refrigerator and freezer is a dual unit. It'll run off dual power unit. It runs off electricity and then once disconnected from electricity it switches to propane and so that allows you when you have it full of food and you're going home from a campsite or wherever uh, on the road the refrigerator is going to stay cold and not allow your food to uh, spoil. Right next to that is a really really large uh, pantry, a lot of good storage there. Uh, so much so that you could use it not only for food but other things. So m moving over to the restroom. Alright, the restroom it has a nice tub in it. It's got a skylight in the top. I'm six foot two so there's plenty of room there. You've got the toilet. Here's your your sink. If you would with your uh, medicine cabinet above it and as you can see you have a second door to access the restroom that can be accessed from outside. What that's going to mean is that the RV is going to stay much cleaner with everybody not going in and out of the RV, the main part of it, all day long. It has two bunk beds. It's got a super soft Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattresses on it. Feels really good. The kids can climb up on the ladder there. Here is a <coughs> rheostat or it's control for the temperature in the uh, cabin here for your heating and cooling. 
next to it it's got power outlet the <clears throat> dining area here dining set has two very large drawers that go under it so there's additional storage the table drops down and the mats make into a queen bed so you have another queen bed there sleep two people here this couch uh, does have some storage underneath it okay but it pulls out the couch pulls out and makes into another like double bed moving on to the master bedroom you can see it's a queen size mattress okay it's got storage above two storages above it's got LED lighting that you can reach up and touch and turn on and off without getting out of bed on each side you have your wardrobe so you can put your hanging clothes and one of the key things in this unit also is that it has sliding doors so you get total privacy on each side as opposed to having one with a curtain got nice window on each side and a mirror on the uh, wardrobes so also comes with your uh, fire extinguisher the uh, unit has below the refrigerator I think I've missed that um, is where all the fuses are and uh, th that's your electrical box that's where all the fuses are so all right, well, that pretty much is a, a quick summary. Uh, look forward to seeing you and your husband come out, Shasta, and uh, I'll send this to you. This is Jim Gibbons from Cliff Jones RV in Sealy, Texas, right out on Interstate 10 or right on the freeway. You can give me a call anytime on my cell phone at 281-802-0630. Thank you.